been a tough week. I'm proud of your efforts and appreciate your hanging in there as you go through the growth of being a new engineer in our company. I want to give you a little bit of guidance on what I'm expecting for our report to the client next Wednesday and I'm hoping it helps. So first of all, I'm looking forward to your final reporting out on the kit capability and the total virgin resin exchange capacity. You'll also be re uh, reporting a regeneration efficiency, which is basically how much how many equivs came out as a function of, versus how many went in. I want to give you a little more specific guidance on the column design. I appreciate that equipment design is something that's new to you, so I want to kind of make sure you're pointed in the right direction. So first of all, you should have already read in great deal the resin uh, documentation. So we're using, we're using Ionic 249 resin. It comes with the spec sheets, a couple pages long, and they give a lot of uh, parameters there that explain how this resin should be used optimally. So I'm expecting that you read and understand that, and certainly not do it the night before that reports due for the client. Uh, as, as you go through that, I think you'll understand that when you're designing a given column, you know, your system's likely going to have a backup column and, and run maybe two columns at the same time. You're going to have some flow rate, and you're probably struggling with what, what should my area be. Well, I want you to read through those specs and specifically think about adding a safety design factor in terms of your assumed resin exchange capacity, but also studying the concept of surface flow rate. What does that mean? Well, it's volumetric flow divided by area, and that's going to guide your column design. So I'm hoping that guides you a little bit. With regards to the salt requirement, I'm not expecting a really detailed analysis. We'll probably recycle that brine solution, but go ahead and calculate what's needed stoichiometrically and maybe multiply it to some, some engineering factor, say two to three. Salt's very cheap, so don't spend a lot of time calculating that. So I'm hoping that guides your design. Uh, put your PFD, your process flow diagram, for the proposed system in the appendix so you get a little more opportunity in your short four-page report to explain your system. And I really look forward to seeing your work. Thanks, and have a great weekend.